All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Get myself ready. Bear with me. Out here, another cold day in the good old Virginia. Another cold day, but oh well. We gonna we gonna get the job done, Israel. We gonna we gonna uh, preach and teach, man. We gonna prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, man. The weather ain't gonna stop us, man. You know, Salakia. All right, let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's, let's get the job done, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, Israel. Okay. Shalom, Yasharala. Shalom, Yasharala. Salakia. Let me adjust a little bit. That's good. Ah, yeah. Shalom, Yasharala. Shalom, Yasharala. First and foremost, Kohalayim La. Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash. Double honors to the elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and the strong. Shalom to the aqua sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya Eyes from Yahawada. Amoth Ya Eyes from Yahawada. All right, back at y'all again with another street teaching. Okay, another lesson. Okay, and uh, this, is a, this is a beautiful lesson that I put together for the hopeful elect, man. Um, it's a uh, scripture upon, uh, upon scripture, precept upon precept, line upon line, uh, that shows that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Is in control of everything, man. Everything, okay. So I don't want Rathazai. This uh, uh, build your faith, your hope, your belief, your trust, and your fear in your Hawabai Shem Yahweh Shai. And uh, I don't want Rathazai. I pray and I hope that you're edified off of this lesson. So without further ado, let's go. And a matter of fact, we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna use a different precept to open up. We, we was using Second Peter's. Chapter 3, verse 11. We're going to use a different one today. So let's go to a different one. Let's uh, switch it up. Let's open up with a different one. All right, this is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's right, man. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is taking that fear away from us, man. Okay, the only, the only power that we fear is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, we have a sound mind of this doctrine, man, which is 144% truth, man, to edify the hopeful elect, man, you know? Okay, but let's keep on going. Let's, let's get into the lesson. All right, let's go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalms, chapter 103. Right, Psalms chapter 103. Stay with me, Israel. All right, this is Psalms chapter 103, reading verses 19 and 20. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless, bless Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, ye his angels that exalt in strength and do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word bless yahweh bahashim yahweh shai ye his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word man so man yahweh bahashim yahweh shai is ruler and king of all man nothing disobeys him man okay so that doctrine that that plantation Christianity doctrine talking about Satan was an outcast. He took uh, one third of the angels and came down, you know, to, to earth and went into to the to the deeps of earth and made hell, you know, et cetera, et cetera, man. All that's nonsense, man. That is complete madness, man. And then, and then furthermore, how, how, how in the hell could you call him the most high, the king of kings, lord of lords, and, and, and the person that governs the earth if he, if he doesn't have control over the spirits that he created? 
That's madness, man. That's complete madness, man. This is the truth, man. And I'm telling you right now, stick with it, man. Stick with it. All right, let's go to Sirach chapter 18. Also known as Ecclesiasticus. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 18. We're going to read verses 1 to 3. He that liveth forever created all things in general. He that liveth forever created all things in general. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, who governeth the world with the palm of his salakia, with the palm of his hand, and all things, and all things obey his will, for he is the king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. Man, so everything obeys the 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 uh, the, the words and the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. He is king of all, man. Nothing is going to disobey Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Let's read that again, man. Let's read verse 3 again. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hands, and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hands, and all things obey his will. For he is king, for he is the king of all, by his power. Dividing holy things among the profane. That's right, man. So all that nonsense they're talking about that Satan is an outcast and everything else, man, that's nonsense, man. It's scriptures that prove that uh, uh, Satan, as they say, has to get the uh, the approval from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh to anything that he wants to do, man. Okay? He takes orders from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is control of everything, man. Either, either get with it or get lost, man. When he puts somebody, to, when, when somebody's put to death, it, it is it is done. It is commanded by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank, period, man. Let's go to Isaiah 43. And some of these precepts you should already know. Salakia. So So like, you know what? We're going to come back to Isaiah 43. Let's go back to um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 42. I got one. I got one I want to read in there. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 42. We're going to read verses 18 to 21. Verses 18 to 21. He seeketh out the deep and the heart and considereth their crafty devices. For Yahweh knoweth all they, so like it, for Yahweh knoweth all that that may be known and he hold and he and he beholdeth the signs of the world he seeketh out the deep and the heart and considereth their crafty devices for yahweh knoweth all that may be known and he beholdeth the signs of the world <coughs> he declareth the things that are past and for to come and reveal up the steps of hidden things no thought escape of him neither any word is hidden from him he have garnished the excellent works of his wisdom and he is from everlasting to everlasting unto him may nothing unto him may nothing be added neither can be diminished and he have no need and he have no need of any counselor because he controls all man he created all and he controls all man what do y'all not get israel this is yahweh by hashem yahweh shah's show man point blank period man either get with it or get judged man point blank period man all right we're going to read let's jump to isaiah 43 now let's go to isaiah 43 now we're going to read verses 10 to 15 isaiah chapter 43 Verses 10 to 15. Ye are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and my servant, 
whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no power formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and besides me there is no savior. I declared and have saved, and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that I am power. Okay, so let's let's expound on um verse eleven, because you're gonna have these old testament these old testament Israelites come on the comment board and say, see right there, there's no savior but the, the, the creator, the Lord, man. Hey, look, man, the Lord sets up the uh that's obviously he 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 controls all, all right? We he, we know that he controls all. But he sends us those saviors that he set up, okay? So for you not to acknowledge Yahweh his son, to be our Lord and Savior, is total blasphemy towards the scriptures and towards the Heavenly Father and his son, man. So let's clarify that, man. Let's clarify that right now. Okay, read on. Verse 13. Yea, before the day was, I am he. Yea, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? I will work, and who shall let it? Thus saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all the nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King, man. Point blank, period, man. Ain't no way around this, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is in control of everything. He say, do this, they do it. He said, he say, I command, I command this be done, it's done. Point blank, period, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai controls all. Everything obeys his will down to the dirt, the ants, the fowls of the heaven, the beasts of the earth, the insects, everything, the creepy things, everything obey his will, man. Everything, man. There's nothing that's going to disobey Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Salaki. There's nothing that's going to disobey you. How about Shimmy? How about man? Nothing. Nothing. All right, let's jump uh, two chapters over. Let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 45. And let's read. Uh, let's read from verses 5 to 7. Isaiah chapter 45, verses 5 to 7. I am Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I greeted thee, though thou hast not known me that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, do all these things, man. Thus saith the scriptures, man. I am Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that do all these things, man. He creates the good. He creates the evil. He, he creates a, a, a madness. He creates a everlasting peace, man, etc., man. Okay, everything is in the palm of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's hands, man. Okay, what do you not get, Israel? Okay, if whatever judgment comes upon you is coming from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Whatever blessing you get is coming from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Lock you. I might have to put on my gloves. We'll see. We'll, we're just going to keep on going. We'll see. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7. We're going to read verses 9 to 10. Verses 9 to 10. Know therefore that Yahweh thy power, he is God, the faithful power, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations and repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them he will not be slack to him that hateth him he will repay him to his face Woo and repay repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them 
he will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will not slacky. He will repay him to his face. And that's right, man. So it's, it's just like we stated, man, in uh, Isaiah 45, uh, 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 Scripture 7, man, Precept 7, that he cre he creates the, uh, the light, he forms darkness, he creates peace, he creates evil, man, you know? So it's just like that stated, man, you know? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is when, when something bad happens to you, he's bringing that judgment. So like, let me get, grab, my, grab my gloves. Grab my gloves. I already feel my hands starting to get cold. I ain't going to play around, Israel. I ain't going to play around. I'm just going to throw them on. I'm just going to throw them right on. Throw these bad boys right on. Salakia. There we go. Better. Much better. Throw these bad boys right on. That's much better. Woo, boy, oh, boy. Beautiful. Salakia. All right, so let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Let's get it. Let's keep on going, Israel. We got a beautiful lesson, man. I hope this is uh, edifying to y'all, man. Because when I, when I put it together, man, I was excited, man. I, I, I was damn near about to do it the day I put it out, but I said, no, nah, I got to wait. Let me wait. Let me wait to put it out. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32. You should already know where I'm going to. Verses 39 to 40. See, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. That's clear as day, man. So, <laughs> when you put getting put to death, it's Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. When you, when you being healed, it's because Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai is healing you, man. Judgment is of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, not the devil. Okay? Let's get that correct. Everything is of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank, period, man. <laughs> Point blank, period, man. All right, let's go to 1 Samuel. Now, that's a spirit. Open up right to it, man. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, this is 1 Samuel chapter 2. We're going to read uh, verses uh, 6 to 10. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 6 to 10. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai's, and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall be Shalaki, out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall judge the ends of the earth and shall give strength unto his kings and exalt the horn of his anointed. Who are the saints? The Israelites. So who, who is he? Come on, man. This this is like I always say, Israel. Like I always say, this is light work. Man, you know what, man? It's, it's so, it's, this is so much fire right here. We got to read this again. We have to read this again. Starting off at verse 6. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai's, and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by the strength shall no man prevail. 
the adversaries of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Man, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful, man. Man, call the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Let's keep on going, Israel. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Daniel chapter 2. <clears throat> All right, this is Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2, we're going to read verses 20 to 21. Daniel chapter 2, verses 20 to 21. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever. Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Okay, so Yahweh, when, when somebody is set up in rulership, it's because of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, so when, when somebody's ruling, whether it be a, 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 a kingdom or the whole world, it's because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah set them up. So this cave monkey, Esau Edom, having rulership over the whole world, was was uh, set up by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, for, for various reasons, man. For, 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 for punishment for Israel, okay, and also to, um, to, to take this man down to show his power, man. Okay, and also to, to, to discern wickedness and righteousness, man. Okay, I hope I'm not losing y'all, Israel, because, man, this, like I say all the time, this is light work. Okay, study to show thyself approved, Israel. Take this seriously, man. Okay, because the only one, the only ones that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to take serious and save, okay, is the one that's actually being being serious serious about this, man. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai knows your heart, man. Okay, you can't fully create it, man. Okay? And it's like we always say, your arms are too short to box with your howl by Hashem, your shot, man. Point blank, period, man. All right, but let's keep on going. Let's go to Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. So lock in. All right, this is Daniel chapter 4. Verse 17, and it reads this. This matter by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high, that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set up, up over it the basis of men. That's right. And so right now, this is a perfect precept, man, a perfect precept. The basis of men is ruling the, is ruling the earth, man. The basis of men. And I, one of our um, beloved brethren, uh, Job, he said, he said in Job chapter 30, verse 1, that he wouldn't even set these, these animals, these cave monkeys, with his dogs, man. Because they, they, they would uh, rape the dogs, man. You know? And then furthermore, that's another reason why um, when Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah told Saul to go put down Amalek, when he said kill to kill the beast of the field, he said kill everything. He said leave nothing alive. Kill everything. Why do you think Yahweh Bash? Because you know, in other other um uh histories in, in the in the in the scriptures like Judges and uh Joshua, uh Deuteronomy, uh they, they took the cattle and all that stuff, but he, he told uh, uh uh Saul to kill the cattle because they was having they was uh, having sex with the animals, man. Come on, man. It's obvious, man. It's clear as day, man. What are they doing now? What are they doing now? They're making laws uh, uh, for you to have sex with animals, man. Bestiality, man. So why do you think Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah told Saul in, uh, 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 what is it, um, 1 Samuel chapter 15? Read that whole chapter. Why do you think he told him to kill the beast too, the cattle? Because they was having sex with him, man. This man is bowed in the earth, man. Come on, Israel. This is light work, man. I'm here to edify, and I hope you're being edified, man. And I hope your spirit is being lifted, man. Okay? Let's go to Colossians. It's Colossians chapter 1. Let's, let's, get some, uh, let's get some facts out of there. <clears throat> All 
All right, this is Colossians chapter 1. This is going to be verses 16 to 20, I believe. Yep, verses 16 to 20. Colossians chapter 1, verses 16 to 20. Salakia. Okay, verses 16 to 20, and it reads this. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him. And for him, it's lucky, and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that all that in all things he might have the pre 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 preeminence. So like it, that he might have the preeminence for it pleased the father that in him should all fullness dwell and have made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him. I say, whatever they be things in earth or things in heaven. Now, who, who is this talking about? Who is the firstborn of the dead? Let's get the precept to, to, to establish that. Let's read the precept. Let's not let me speak on it. Let's let the precepts speak on it. All right, so this is Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. And from Yahweh Hamashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Okay? So the firstborn of the dead is Yahweh Hamashiach, okay, who was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh. Yahawada in the uh, in the um, Paleo Hebrew and in the English Judah. Okay, his name is not Jebus Cross. Okay, Jesus Christ doesn't even mean nothing. Jesus means uh, earth pig. Okay, so how in the hell? And furthermore, when when uh, uh, when when our, when our forefathers came here from uh, from slavery, that first ship that they came on was the good ship Jesus. And furthermore, your enemy is not going to give you the name. Of your of your uh, uh, of your savior, man, or 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 the father, man. It's not gonna happen, man. It's like I always say, they can't be your oppressor and your savior. That, that that's not balanced, man. That is not balanced, man. Okay, but uh, basically back to Colossians chapter one. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay, but who gave Yahweh Shai uh, 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 the heavens and the earth? The Father, man. It's like, it's like I'm, make, I'm making points, man. The Father is in control of everything. Nothing is given unless it's done by the Father's commandment, man. Point blank, period, man. Okay? All right, so let's keep on going. We got more. We ain't done yet. Let's go to Job chapter 33. Okay, because everybody think we have free will. There's no such thing as free will, man. Okay? There's no such thing as free will. Let's go to Job chapter 33. All right, this is Job chapter 33, reading verses 15 to 16. Verses 15 to 16. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Woo, do you hear that? In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. So while you sleep, the heavenly fathers give you instructions for your next day. Okay? He's giving you instructions for your next day, man. There's no free will, man. Okay? You've been bamboozled. You've been lied to, man. The father controls all, man. He controls everything. So when you sleep, when you're in that deep sleep, you get those instructions, man. Okay, let's let's uh let's let's expound on that more. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 16, I believe. Salakia. Salakia. This is one. This is one cave monkey, the silverback gorilla. When I come out here. He uh he works out. He runs. I guess he runs laps around the um the the uh, the, the strip or whatever. He always comes right across from me to hear what I'm preaching, man. The same cave monkey, man. All right, but let's uh, let's keep on going. All right, this is Psalm 16, Psalm chapter 16, verse one. 
The preparations of the heart and man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Woo! The preparations of the heart and men and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So I thought we had free will. This, this, is, <laughs> this is further establishing and proving that Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is in control of everything, man. Everything, what's, what's coming out your mouth, he, he wanted you to say that, man. Okay, let's jump down to verse 9. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. A man's heart deviseth his way. A man's heart deviseth his way, but Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, directeth his steps, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is in control of all, man. Okay, he is in control of all, man. Everything, man. Everything, man. Your thoughts. He's putting no thoughts in your head, just like I said in Job chapter 33, verses 15 to 16. When you go into that deep sleep, he opens your ears and gives you the instructions for your next day, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. Point blank period, man. Ain't no way around this, man. Okay? Let's keep on going. All right, let's go to Proverbs chapter 20. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. A man's goings are of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. How can a man then understand his own way? A man's goings are of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. How can a man understand his own way? Okay? So there's no free will. Okay? Just like Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, controls the spirits, the beasts, the fowls of the heaven. Uh, 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 Etc. Everything else He controls you too man And guess what You're obeying his will the, the, the deceived And the deceiver are his The righteous And the wicked are his Okay You may think that you're doing everything on your own You have free will You're doing this, you're doing that You're in control of your life You're not You're not You're not in control of a damn thing Okay? Nothing. You're not in control of anything, man. Point blank period, man. And I had to put, I had, man, the spirit was on me to put this lesson together, man, to establish these points. So this can be a reminder to Israel, especially uh, in these trials and tribulations to come uh, in, in Jacob's trouble, man, when shit is turned to the max, to, all, to us always have in our head that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is in control of all of this. For us not to be, for us, for us to fear not, basically. Just like I did that faith building lesson called Fear Not. Go watch it, man. And uh, I don't want to write this out, it'll build your faith, man. I hope it builds your faith. Okay, so don't fear, man. Do not fear, man. And I got another beautiful lesson too, man. Salakia. Uh, for ranting, if the spirit is telling me to say this, man. Because what I, what I just say, man, my words is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that I just read from uh, Proverbs 16 and 1. He's telling me to say this. I was visited by a chariot last night, um, and also the chariot <clears throat> uh, 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 followed me from the store and back. But I, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna wait till I put the lesson out and I go into more detail in the lesson. Okay. All right. So let's keep on going. Let's go to Jeremiah. Uh, Slaki, Proverbs chapter 21, verse one. Proverbs chapter 21, verse one. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, as the rivers of water, he turneth it wheresoever he will. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, as the rivers of water, he turneth it wheresoever he will. And what is your heart? Your heart is your mind, man. It's like it. So Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is directing the king's and, the, and the, the citizens, the regular people's hearts, which is your mind, wherever he wants it to go and to, to have you think whatever he wants you to think, man. Okay? There's no free will, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is controlling you. And this is what this cave monkey wants. This cave monkey wants to have control over your, your spirit, your mind, everything, man. Okay? He wants to basically put that poison in you and that RFID microchip to monitor everything that you do. 
And once once he gets to do uh, his his portion, he he might be able to put thoughts in your mind, man. Okay. All right, but let's go to Jeremiah. Let's go. To, that's another lesson for another time. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter ten. Shalaki. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. Oh, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, I know the way of man is not in himself. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct it, so like that walketh to direct his steps. Oh, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. And that's right, man. What more do I have to keep on saying, man? That Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is in control of everything, man. Everything, man. The winds, the rain, the thunder, the snow, everything, man. Anything you can think of, he's in control of it, man. Everything that was given to us to, to be created on earth. He created it before he gave it to us, man. He just put it in, the, in, the, in that person's mind to do it, man. Okay, we are not getting Israel. There's no free will. And Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shah is controlling everything, man. Point blank, period, man. All right, let's go to Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah, that's, that's the spirit. Open up right to it, man. Call her Lord, Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shah. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 18, and it reads this. For thus saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that created thee, Salakia. For thus saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that created the heavens. God himself that formed the earth and made it. He have established it. He created it not in vain. He have established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and there, and there is nothing else. Woo! Beautiful. All Beautiful, man. Let's read that again, man. For thus saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that created the heavens, the Most High Himself that formed the earth and made it. He have established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and there is none else, man. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful, man. And man, I really hope that y'all are being edified off of this, man, because this is I'm, I'm being edified now just reading it. <laughs> it took it took me the time to go ahead, you know, and get the precepts that I wanted. And furthermore, there's more precepts that I could have added on to it, but I just I just got the ones that I feel that could could enlighten your your brain to make you say, you know what? Th those are powerful precepts. Let me go research through the scriptures and see if I can find more. You know, to 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 boost you up to, to have you go uh, you know uh, look for look for some more, man. All right, let's go to Judith, Judith chapter eight. Judith chapter 8. All right, this is Judith chapter 8, <clears throat> verse 14. Judith chapter 8, verse 14. For ye cannot find the depth of the heart of man, neither can ye perceive the things that he thinketh. Then how can ye search out the Most High that have made all these things and know his mind? Or, com or comprehend his purpose. Nay, my brethren, provoke not Yahweh our power to anger, man. Woo, boy, oh boy. Man, oh man. Let's read that again, man. For ye cannot find the depth of the heart of man, neither can ye perceive the things that he thinketh. Then how can ye search out the Most High that have made all these things and know his mind? Or comprehend his purpose. Nay, 
my brethren, provoke not, provoke not Yahweh our power to anger, man. Our, our, our little pea, our little pea brains cannot co comprehend the secrets, the, the, the thorough secrets that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah has done, man. We can't comprehend that, man. We have to be told by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Point blank, period, man. We're not. We're gonna. We're gonna know a lot. You know, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is gonna re reveal a lot to us, but he's not gonna reveal everything to us, man. Okay. But let's keep on going. That's another lesson for another time. All right. Let's go to the additions of Esther. The additions of Esther. Let's go to the editions of Esther, chapter 13. Shalakia. All right, the editions of Esther, chapter 13, chapter 13, verse 11. The editions of Esther in the Apocrypha, chapter 13, verse 11. Straight to the point. You know what, Salakia? Salakia, you know what? Hold on one second. Give me one second, Israel. Yep, we're going to start at verse 9 and end at 11. All right. Uh, set, uh, additions to Esther, chapter 13, starting off at verse 9, end at 11. Saying, O Yahweh, Yahweh, the King Almighty, for the whole world is in thy power. And if thou hast appointed to save Israel, there is no man that can gainsay thee. For thou hast made heaven and earth and all the wondrous things under the heaven. Thou art Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, of all things. And there is no man that can resist thee, which art Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Woo! Beautiful. Let's read that again, Israel. Saying, O oh, Yahweh, Yahweh, the King Almighty, for the whole world is in thy power. And if thou hast appointed to save Israel, there is no man that can gainsay thee. For thou hast made heaven and earth, and all the wondrous things under the heaven. Thou art Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, of all things. And there is no man that can resist thee, which art Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Man, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful, man. Man, oh man, we're just going to keep on going, Israel. This, that's beautiful, man. That is beautiful, man. All right, we're going to jump to second address, chapter 16. Uh, chapter 16, that we're going to read verses... Verses 61 to 63. 2nd Edges chapter 16, starting off at verse 61, ending at 63. He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life and understanding. Yea, and the spirit of almighty Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which made all things and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely, surely, he knoweth your inventions, and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sins. Man, call her law, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. There's nothing that you can hide from the Father, man. He knows all, man. He knows all because he created all, man. What do y'all not get, Israel? He knows all because he created all, Israel. Okay? Our power is, is a marvelous and terrible power, man. Either you with him or you're against him. And look, man, Hebrews chapter 10, I want to say, uh, uh, verse 31, it is a terrible thing, a terrible, treacherous thing to be in the hands, to fall into the hands of the living power. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and read it, man. Let me let me not butcher it and uh, add words on to it because we're not supposed to be doing that. So let's go to Hebrews and read that real quick. Because if you ain't with him, man, woo, boy, oh, boy. Your ass is grass. All right, Hebrews 10, 
verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Woo, boy, oh boy. All right, let's go to Isaiah chapter 55. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways. So like it. For, your, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's just, God, Elamite almost got hit by a damn Benz or BMW. So like it. Cow piss drinker, man. <laughs> Isaiah 55, verse, starting off with verse 8 again. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways. So like For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And that's right, man. And it's just like I just read in, um, uh, uh, I want to say Jude, yeah, Jude chapter 8. We can't comprehend. We can't comprehend the mind of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? His mind is above and beyond our mind, man. Above and beyond, man. Okay? But like I said, man, stuff is going to be re re revealed to us, man. You know? All right, let's go to... um. Let's go to Second Corinth, Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 18. Let's see if he controls the evil. Second Chronicles chapter 18, starting off at verse 18, reading to 22. Again he said, Therefore, hear the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I say Yahweh, I saw Yahweh sitting upon his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right and on his left. So on his right side he got the holy, he got the righteous angels, and on his left side he got the um the wicked angels, man, the evil. So he got good and evil on each side. Okay, he controls both sides. And he said, Therefore, hear the word of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I saw Yahweh sitting upon his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right and on his left. And Yahweh said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall? Salakia. Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall? at Ramoth Galid and one spake saying after this manner and another saying after that manner then then there came out a spirit and stood before Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and said I will entice him <clears throat> and Yahweh said unto him wherewith and he said I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets so what is a, what is a lying spirit is a lying spirit righteous okay isn't 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 it against the scriptures not to not to bear false witness and lie? Okay, isn't it? We probably I know we're gonna have some jackass say no, it's not. There's no there's no precept in the in the uh in the holy book that says we're not supposed to lie. Bearing false witness is a a, a subject of lying too, man. Just just said in a different way. But we'll, we'll 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 get one scripture to prove that we're not supposed to lie to one another. But reading on, uh, verse. Verse 20 again. Then there came out a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will entice him. And Yahweh said unto him with wherewith. And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And Yahweh said, Thou shalt entice him. He was like, Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, go ahead and get to work, man. Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. I'll say, so basically, he commanded that spirit. He said, I like that, man. I like that. You know what I'm saying? That's smooth. Yeah. Go out and do that, man. Get that job done. Verse 22. Now, therefore, behold, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have put. You hear this? Now, therefore, behold, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have put a lying spirit in the mouth of these of these thy prophets, and Yahweh have spoken evil against thee 
I thought he doesn't. I thought he doesn't, he doesn't control the evil spirits, the good and the bad. We we already established that he does, but this is just further more more evidence and more proof. Okay, more evidence and more proof, man. But let's jump to um, cause I I just said that I was gonna prove that we're not supposed to lie to one another. So let's go to Colossians real quick. Get, let's get one precept out of Colossians. Uh, what is that? I think exactly. Oh, this is Philippians. Salaki, that's Philippians. It's right here. Hold on one second. Salaki. All right, this is Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads this Lie not one to another. Lie not one to another. Seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Colossians chapter 3, verse 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, man. So we're not supposed to lie to one another, man. Just as bearing false witness, which is lying, man. You know? But let's keep on going. Let's go to Job chapter 12. Let's go to Job. Good old Job. Good old Job. Let's go to Job chapter 12. All right, this is Job chapter 12. And we're going to start at verse 12 and end at 16. And it reads this. With the ancient is wisdom and in length of days understanding. With the ancient is wisdom and length in days of understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He have counsel and understanding. Behold, he breaketh down, and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man, and there can be no opening. Behold, he withholdeth the waters, and they dry up. Also, he sendeth them out, and they overturn the earth. With him, with him, is strength and wisdom. The deceived, the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. Okay, so like I said, pride, man, the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is in control of everything, Israel. What are y'all not getting, man? You have no free will. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is controlling this, he's controlling that. He's controlling you too, man. Point blank, period, man. All right, let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 14. Ezekiel chapter 14. Salaki. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 14. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if the and if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing, I Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai have deceived that prophet. Woo! Let's read that again. And if the prophet had, so like, and if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken the thing, I Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. Man. So when these prophets are out here speaking these lies, talking that nonsense, like they said John the Baptist was a plate of fish, pass me the hot sauce. You can call the Lord jalapeno pepper. That's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai deceiving these prophets to deceive the two-thirds, man. To make them to believe that nonsense, man. Because he wants to judge you, man. It's something that you've done. And furthermore, we know it's because you're not of that predestined lot before the creation of the foundation of the world, which is Ephesians chapter 1. Go ahead and read that. I, I keep on stating it in almost damn near almost every lesson. But it also falls back to that too, you know. But he's just preserving you for judgment, man. He don't want you to get this truth, man. Okay? He wants to, he wants to uh, purify you through death, man. You know? So whatever, 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 whatever is the will of our Father, Abunawa Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, let it be done, man. Okay? Point blank period. Let it be done, man. We just have to pray that he don't take that spirit away from us and that he don't cast his face away from us and that we endure until the end. That's it, Israel. 
All right, let's go to Amos. Let's go to Amos. All right, this is Amos chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the and the people be not afraid? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have not done it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah did it. We already we already backed this up prior, man. Go back into the beginning of the lesson, man. If you just now tuning in. You know what I'm saying? If it were, you skip, if you skip, because this, this ain't gonna be uh world premiere, this one's gonna put it up regular. You know? But we already established the point that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah controls the good and the evil, Israel. Let's read that again, man. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have not done it? He does all, man. He does all, man. Point blank, period, man. And there's something else that just came to my head. Let me read this real quick. Salakia. Shuckles. Shuckles, shuckles, shuckles. Alright, this is Exodus chapter 6, starting off at verse 1, ending at 3. Yaha then Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And, and the Most High spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Yaquah by the name of the Most High Almighty. But by, but by my name, Yahweh, was I, was I not known to them. Woo! Let's read it again, man. Then Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For, what a, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And the Most High spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Yaquab, by the name of the, by the name of the Most High Almighty, but by my name Yahweh was I not known to them. Okay, so he basically told Moses, I man, look, man. I'm about to show you my power, man. I'm about to show you what I'm about to do to this heathen, man, to make him release my people, man. So he basically established, he spoke with Moses face to face, man. And he basically established that I control everything, man. Nothing goes, 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 goes past my throne unless I say so. Okay, he made it clear in the beginning that he controls everything, man. Point blank period, man. All right, let's keep on going, man. Let's go to John. Let's go to St. John. St. John. Uh, it's like here. All right, Israel. It's Baba Gushal Salaki. Forgive me. All right, this is St. John, chapter 1. And we're going to read verses 1 to 3. And it reads this, in the beginning was the word and the word was with the most high and the word was the most high. The same was in the beginning with the most high. All things, all things were made by him and without him was, was not anything made that was made. Woo! In him was life and the life was the life. In him was life and the life was the light of men okay let's read that again in the beginning was the word and the word was with the most high and the word was the most high the same was in the beginning with the most high all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made 
So how in the hell could somebody who created everything, everything, even the first begotten son, he created him too and gave him power over heaven and earth. So how can everything that he created, he not be in control of, Israel? What are you thinking? Come on, man. This is light work, Israel. This is light, this is this is this is Hebrew Israelite 101, man. Point blank period, man. Hebrew Israelite 101, Israel. Let's go, man. Let's get it, man. We ain't, we ain't done yet, man. We ain't done yet, man. Just keep on taking these notes, man. Let's go to Saint back to St. John again. And we're gonna go to chapter five this time. Alright, this is St. John, chapter five. And we're going to read verse 30. All right, St. John chapter 5, verse 30, and it reads this. I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I speak. Because I speak not my own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me me bada bing bada boom man let's read that again man let's read it again let it, let it sink in real quick let's read it again so it can sink in let's read it again so it can sink in Israel I can I can of my I can of my own self do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek, because I seek, not mine own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. So we doing what we were given the instructions to do by Alba Nawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We seeking the will of the Father, man. We're, we're programmed to do so, man. Come on, Israel. This tough cookie man if you if you can receive it you can receive it if you can't tough cookie man pray and fast that you receive it man all right all right let's go back to second address oh, damn it's locked here. all right this is second address Let's 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 see who's uh who's controlling destructions and who's making these plagues and etc. Who's doing that? Who's making that happen? Cause you can't turn nothing back. We can't control nothing, man. All right, this is Second Edris, chapter sixteen. We're gonna read verses one to eleven. Woe be unto Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto the Egypt and Assyria. and Syria. Grit up yourselves with 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 cloths of sack, and hair be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back a fire is sent among you and who may quench it plagues are sent on to you and what is he that may drive them away many and it's like it may any man may any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood or may any one quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn, may one turn away the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the mighty Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? Woo! Let's read that again, Israel. I don't think y'all feeling that yet. The mighty the mighty Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, sendeth the plagues. And who is he? Who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? He shall, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Woo! He shall cast lightnings. And who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly? And who shall not be utterly 
beaten to powder at his presence, man. Let's read, let's read verse 11 again, man. This is powerful. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence, man. This is beautiful, Israel. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is control of all, man. Everything, man. Everything, man. He knows how many how many hairs you got on your head. He knows how many hairs you have on on, on your beard, man. Etc., man. He's in control of all, man. We can't. There's nothing that we can do to go against the heavenly Father, Alba Nawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Call on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Keep on going, Israel. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Baruch. Let's go to Baruch, man. Why not? Let's go to Baruch. Let's go to Baruch real quick. Salakia. All right, this is Baruch chapter 2. Baruch chapter 2, verse 9, straight to the point. Wherefore, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, watched over us for evil, and Yahweh have brought it upon us. Woo, you hear that? Wherefore, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, watched over us for evil, and Yahweh have brought it upon us. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is righteous in all his works which he have commanded us. Everything is done by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank, period, man. Point blank, period, man. There's nothing that, that that's not done. That's not that's not done by the heavenly Father, Al Banawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, Israel, he he controls all, man. So when, when you having a bad day, he wanted your ass to have a bad day. When you having a good day, he wanted you to have a good day. When you get judgment, it, 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 it pleases him to give you that judgment, man. When you getting a gift, he gave you that, man. When you when you got a raise at work or, or, or a promotion, he put he put the spirit on your balls to give it to you, man. Everything is done by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. There's no way out of this, man. He controls everything, man. All right, let's go to uh, Judas. Judith. Judith chapter 16. Let's see. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let's make sure this is right. Lock you. Judah chapter 16. Judah chapter 16, verse 13. I will sing unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, a new song. O Yahweh, thou art great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invisible. Woo! <laughs> Read on. Let all creatures serve thee, for thou spakest, and they were made. Thou didst send forth thy spirit and created them, and there is none that can resist thy voice. Woo! Boy, oh boy. That's a Mike Tyson uppercut. That's a jab and then a, and then a right hook. <laughs> Let's read that again. This is Judith. Chapter 16, verses 13 and 14. I will sing unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, a new song. O Yahweh, thou art great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invisible. Let all creatures serve thee, for thou spakest, and they were made. Thou didst send forth thy spirit, and it created them. And there is none, there is none that can resist thy voice 
Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is controlling everything. All. Nothing is going to resist his commandments, man. Point blank, period. Thus saith the scripture, man. Come on, Israel, man. Let's get it together, man. Let's get it together, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is, is in control of our destiny, man. All right, let's jump back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17. And it reads this. For Yahweh, your power is, is, is God of gods. For Yahweh, your power is God of gods and Lord of lords. A great power, a mighty, and a terrible which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. Woo! For Yahweh, your power is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty and terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward, man. The King of kings, the God of gods. Al Banawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Israel. Let's keep on going, man. Let's go back to Psalms. Let's go back to Psalms real quick. Psalms 136. Let me get to it. Bear with me, Israel. Let me get to it. Salakia. Baba Kishore Salakia. Cold as a brick. All right, this is Psalms uh, chapter 136. Psalms chapter 136. Man, I got to get me a damn uh, tripod that's six feet, man. I'm 6'5", man. I'm having to kneel down to keep my whole face in the video or back up more. Damn, back's starting to hurt. I got to get me a tripod that's at least damn near seven feet. All right, this is uh, Psalms 136. And we're going to read verses 2 to 4. O oh, give thanks unto the Most High of Gods. O oh, give thanks unto the God of Gods, for his mercy endure forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his mercy endure forever. To whom, to, like you, to him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. Let's read that again. O oh, give thanks unto the God of Gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him alone does a glorious, wonderful works, man. To him who alone doeth great wonders. To him alone. Man, oh man. It's, it's a bloodbath over here, Israel. Let's go back to Dan real quick. Daniel. Daniel chapter 2. Okay. All right, this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 47. The king answered unto Daniel and said, The king answered unto Daniel and said, O oh, of truth, it is what your power is a God of gods. The king answered unto Daniel and said, of, of a truth, it is that your power is a God of gods and Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets. Seeing thou couldst reveal this secret. How could he reveal it? Because he created this, the, the, uh, the situation to happen to show his power, man. Let's read that again, man. Daniel chapter 2, verse 47. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is, that your power is a God of gods, and a Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldst reveal this secret. How? Because he, come on, man. He created everything, man. Come on, man. Israel, let's get to it, man. Let's get it, man. He created everything, Israel. How can he not reveal secrets, man? He created it, man. 
All right, let's go to Psalms 118. Let's jump back to Psalms. Psalms 118. All right, this is Psalms 118, verse 23. Psalms 118, verse 23. This is Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Woo! This is Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes, man. Man, oh man. Ain't no need for me to, to, to break that down, man. <laughs> 